Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Leo. Leo, this is your end of the month, okay, the, the last part of May 2020 reading. I know uh, this is supposed to be your monthly for 2020, but half the month's already gone by, so this is going to be for the remainder of May 2020. All right, so please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. And Leo, keep in mind, I have grandchildren running around playing downstairs, so you may hear them at some point in the background. Just know they are safe and they are fine. All right, Leo, I'm using the major arcana of the Tarot of Dreams to pull a major theme and energy for you. I'm also using the Wisdom of the Avalon Oracle, and I will be using the Gilded royale tarot for your monthly general messages and at the end of your reading leo i will be pulling several life purpose energies for you as well thank you spirit all right leo oh my goodness there you are the sun all right Woo, nice love it all right spirit leo sun moon and rising Thank you, Spirit. Oh, nice. <laughs> and we got the fat cat over here, too. And you got the cat right here. Love it. Independence. Healthy boundaries. All right. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right, Spirit. What does Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising need to know the rest of... May 2020. Thank you, Spirit. What does Leo need to know, Spirit? All right, we're ready. Situation. Oh, my goodness. Nine of Cups. In your foundation, we've got Temperance. Recent past energy, we have the Ace of Cups. Nice. Crowning you is the High Priestess. Your new circumstance or opportunity is the Seven of Cups. In the position of what you need to know, we've got the Magician. Your environment, there you are, Queen of Wands. Advice from spirit is the empress. Your outcome energy, beautiful king of pentacles. All right. Nice. A lot of major arcana in this reading as well. Very significant, okay? You've got one, two, three, four. In your reading right here. <clears throat> nice. All right, Leo. So you've got the master number 11 coming through here. You also have the number sequence 1, 2, and 3. You definitely have a new beginning here, okay? Another thing I want to point out, the number 18 for this energy. Well, this uh, energy right here is the number 18. 1 plus 8 is 9. So you have the number 99 coming up here as well. 1, 2, 3, master number 11, and the number 99. All right, Leo, here you are, okay? Okay. You are just all over this uh, overall energy right here as well because, you know, you've got the cat coming through here. You've got the sun. I know the cat is not a lion, but still in the, uh, the same family, right? Still talking about power and independence and achievement. So beautiful energies. You're in your own element here. 
You know, I feel like for many of you Leos, you have recently started a new beginning in some area of your life. And I tell you what, I mean, you're being very successful at what it is that you're doing, okay? Whatever this new beginning has to do with. Now, for some of you, you may be fixing to start this new beginning. This could have to do with your career, your business. Maybe this is a new relationship, okay? But you have foresight here. You have the clarity that you need to move forward, okay? Nothing is hidden from you. I feel for many of you, the success is coming from your creativity. You know, you are shining at this time. I feel like you have, you're on fire. You have so much passion that is backing what you're taking action on, what this new beginning has to do with. You know, there is a promise, okay, for those of you maybe that have been procrastinating on starting this new beginning there's a promise here of success okay so if you've been procrastinating it's time to move it's time to move on it take action okay this is such a powerful energy right here you know i'm getting you know leo you just when you walk in a room you light it up i feel like you are a people magnet okay they feel your energy all right, you are definitely vibrating on a higher level of consciousness right here. Now, like I said, you've got this amazing energy of the cat. Independence, healthy boundaries. You know, I do feel for some of you, you may have had to set up some boundaries between give and take, maybe with someone here recently. Could have been a friend, could have been a family member. But I do feel for the majority of you Leos out there, this is you stepping into your personal empowerment here. It's independence. It's being self-reliant. It's a sense of achievement here. Okay? You may have recently, you know, got your first job. All right? Um, for some of you, you've recently finished, you know, your, your education. And I feel for others of you, this is the new beginning of... of a business okay this can be very successful and if this has to do with the career that you're starting okay you're going to be climbing the ladder to success here in no time now you've got the nine of cups coming up here's your current situation that's beautiful some of you have went after a dream and a wish okay and it has brought you so much emotional satisfaction joy and fulfillment for some of you, this is what you're taking action on. You're understanding that that wish, that dream is within reach. It's achievable. And you're stepping into your power. You're being courageous and you're going after it. Your cup is being refilled. It was refilled here recently in your past. And it's continuing to be refilled. Okay? And, and that's amazing. I feel like... You're going after something that's really going to bring you happiness, okay? Not just because you're making good money, but it's, a, it's on a soul level as well. Now, you've got temperance, the energy of Sagittarius coming up here in your foundation. This is what's driving you. This is definitely, you know, you doing the inner work, doing spiritual alchemy right here. You know, believing in yourself, having that passion, that desire. You know, to go after what you want. And you're making sure you get things just right here. You know, this is you, you know, working on something and taking a step back and looking at it. And making sure it's just the way you want it. If not, you're coming back to the table, okay? And you're continuing to work on it. I love it. I'm seeing some compromises possibly being made here. Agreements, maybe between you and another as well now this could be a a mother father uh a situation where you are setting some boundaries with you know maybe your your son or your daughter that has just recently you know left the nest okay i'm getting that as well now we've got the ace of cups coming up here in your recent past. You're still feeling this energy because it's showing up in your reading. 
For many of you, you, you know, this represents becoming one with your higher self, with the divine as well. Connection, spiritual connection. And, you know, I want to say this as well, Leo. I'm getting where you guys have this balance between the spiritual and the material realms. And it's really what's allowing for you to be the manifester and co-creator of your reality. I feel like for many of you, you've recently took the time out and refilled your cup. Okay? Rejuvenated yourself because you knew that you were fixing to take action on something that you truly want, that you desire. And you're making sure you're ready for it. You know, I also feel like spirit is refilling your cup. You know? There's just so many blessings here. And more blessings to come as well. Because if you'll look at this, this image right here. It, it shows the phases of the moon going out through here. So I really feel like, you know, there's going to be opportunities and blessings coming in here. Uh, not just here in May. But four, five, six, maybe even into next, the beginning of next year where blessings and they could be unexpected and you know, opportunities coming your way now we've got the high priestess coming up here in your crowning position this is what you know this is what you're thinking about you understand how powerful you are you understand you embody this energy okay you know whenever you have a decision you need to make you don't ask other people that's around you. You don't call somebody up. You check in with Leo, okay? Because you understand that all the answers you seek lie within you. And that's powerful. Many of you are using your spiritual gifts, all right, to, to help you along your path and your journey. Some of you are stepping into uh, some new spiritual gifts, okay? I'm getting clairvoyance, clairaudience. I'm just getting where you understand that psychic flow of energy that you hold within you and it flows uh, through you, okay? And it, it goes into what you touch, what you're breathing, what you're giving life to, especially with the magician energy here. And this is you having so much wisdom, you know, and knowledge and you're tapping into it right here, okay? I'm not getting anything hidden from you, Leo. Nothing. Uh, you know, I feel like you have a great deal of awareness, especially with the high priestess right here side by side with the sun. There, there's nothing hidden from you. You have what you need to be able to move forward successfully, to make successful decisions. Now, your new opportunity, okay, or new circumstances, the Seven of Cups, this talks about what you put out, you know, you, you may have been waiting uh, for a minute, okay? Maybe you've been going to interviews, um, putting in a lot of applications online, and you feel like, man, I'm never going to hear back, or maybe it's not going to happen because I've been waiting so long. Well, get ready, because it's all fixing to happen at once for you, okay? It could even be a bit overwhelming. And remember, you're going to, you know, weigh your options here. You're going to check in with Leo. You're going to embody this energy of the high priestess. And, you know, I see you making the best choice and decision for the betterment of your circumstances, of your life. You got the magician here in the position of what you need to know. Gemini and Virgo energy. This is what I'm talking about right here. You are using clear communication. You are communicating what you want, what you desire to the universe. And you're going to get it. Okay? You're going to bring it and it's going to materialize. It's going to come to fruition here. And it's all because you have believed in what it is that you desire. Okay? You're using that laser focused intention. And you're making your mark right here. And you're going to achieve it. You know, all these energies are talking about you're going to get what you want. And not only are you going to get what you want, there's success that's going to come from it. Okay? Independence. So very powerful right here. Now, in your environment is the Queen of Wands. This is your energy, whether you're female or male. 
Leo, Aries, Sagittarius right here. You know, this is that go-getter energy right here. I love the King and Queen of Wands, okay? The Queen of Wands has the self-confidence, has the passion, backing what she's going after. And this is that energy of not letting anything or anyone get in your way of you achieving what you're going after. Some of you are definitely starting a business from home or have already. And get ready because business, if you've already started it, business is fixing to pick up here for you, Leo. Okay? Some of you may have recently received a promotion, a pay raise. Remember, I see you climbing the ladder to success here with the corporation or company that you work for. I feel like people respect you. All right? They, you know, you're even a mentor. You know, I'm telling you, you light up a room. People want to be around you because... Your energy is, you know, inspiring. That's what I'm getting right here. Thank you, Spirit. Now, your advice from Spirit is the Empress coming through here. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay? What you're manifesting, what you're nurturing here, because the Empress talks about you planting seeds. Okay? And you taking care of them, nurturing them. And what happens, all right, what you put out comes back. It's a material harvest. It comes back threefold, okay? Get ready for a harvest, whether it be money, love, or an abundance of what it is you've been putting out coming back to you, okay? That's powerful. This talks about how nurturing and grounded you are. This is a very fruitful energy. I am getting a baby here. My guide is telling me. One of you Leos have just found out you're going to be a mama or a daddy. Okay, and congratulations to you. And then you have this amazing energy for your outcome. King of Pentacles, whether you're male or female. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy right here. This is you definitely feeling independence okay this is you having stability and security laying that solid unshakable foundation right here like I said really stepping into your power okay at this time when it comes to what you do for a living or that career you're going after or that build that business that you're building and creating it's going to be successful and powerful okay now I am getting for some of you you're waiting on a business loan this could be somebody that is going to financially back you as well now my guide is telling me that one of you are waiting on an inheritance from a father. Your, your father has already passed. I feel like this is, I'm getting a year. This has been going on for a year. My goodness. And I feel that coming to an end. Uh, it's coming to an end. There's going to be closure. And you're going to get what's owed to you, Leo. Okay? You're going to get what's owed to you. That's coming through from my guide. Please leave me a comment if that message was for you. I love the confirmation just as much as you guys do. <laughs> All right? That's a powerful energy. You know, it, it talks about structure within your financial situation. It talks about financial comfort as well. Thank you, spirits. Leo. We've got support. Your life purpose fully supports you. Yes. Love it. Prot oh my goodness. Protected. You are safe and supported while you change your career. You are definitely. <clears throat> excuse me. You are definitely on the right path. 
you're definitely going in the right direction. And your angels and your guides and spirit want you to know this. Okay, this is confirmation right here. Yoga. Your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching and exercising. Love it. All right, Leo, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Leo.